Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnel. I am back with Roxy's weekly challenge again. And last week she made these um, document holders. And so today in week seven, we're gonna make some just alternative ways or Oh, I can't remember what she called it, but just the same idea, but just in different shapes. So all you need is some paper strips, and I have some paper strips here from my scrap box, and I think these will all work. Um, I'll just show you quickly. Let's just start one from scratch. And I really like the tall, skinny document holder she made so let's start doing this I really like these I'm I can just tear that off there I think I think these are just totally perfect like this if you are going away on a weekend or maybe just an overnight trip or two or three days I think these are perfect to take with you because if you are using this as writing surfaces, this one might not has, have as much, but look, there's one you can write in the back, you can write here on the front or, or um, glue photos onto or tickets right there again, there, 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 and there. I mean, that should give you enough writing space for a weekend and add a couple of memorabilia and you can even tuck some ephemera inside here um, and then you don't have to take your entire journal with you or these can obviously you can take this out and use the documents or pieces of paper for collage or just tucking into other pockets in your journal if you're and then those i think i would just tuck it in a pocket or maybe paper clip it on to the side of a page I don't think I'll glue those down, but you can do that too if you want to. So this, um, this is the tall skinny one. And let's just do the half sizes as well. So you can just see what size the papers will be. And Rachel double printed hers double sided and she even, glued some paper you know two papers together i will link her video below i'm not going to do that because just because i think um if i do want to use these as writing spots i don't want to take away from that and i don't want this to be too bulky either okay so there is my and I'm going to kind of just do these in half. Let's see. Oh, and then I also did one where I just tore a coffee dyed paper just into three pieces. And they will give you small skinny ones. And then all you do is you fold it over. It is very easy to make these. Fold them just over. And then you add your documents or your pieces of paper or whatever you decide to do. So let's do one, two, let's do three on camera. I have some music paper here as well. Let's do those three. And I have some strips here that was left from a project. <laughs> don't know which one but let's just i'm i just want to make one with just a couple of papers in it maybe we'll just do this one add it in there and there and these are just papers that like i said i tore it off Maybe making another journal, I'm not sure. Let's do that. 
makes it a little interesting. Okay, so that's one. Let's add some. This one's too big, but we can always tear it in half. So it will fit on there. And let's see what else I have here. These are all too wide. That one's too wide as well. So for the tall skinny ones, yeah, the only thing is you do need long, tall um, document pieces, maybe like old checks, receipts. This one might go in there, not this one. Let's put that one in there. Okay. Um, I'm thinking let's add some paper in here as well. how wide I want it because I just want something all the way to the bottom and of course it doesn't all have to be straight we're all good with that we do is we put and I would suggest using the bigger hole of your crocodile or if you have just those handheld um, hole punchers use the bigger one if you're using twine because the twine do tend to fray let's do it the way Rachel did the twine just alternatives from her first idea. And I don't think I'm going to decorate any of these today. You've watched me do that yes, last week. I will link my video as well as Rachel's. And then you just fold it over. And we can just do this to give us a kind of like a tall skinny one and obviously now you can add you know decorations this is too big but you get the idea this one with just our papers in it and maybe this one let's add a sorry silk for this one, it's just you know, something different. And maybe I put the hole into D, you know, to should have made it more here, but it's all good. I don't want to double tie because then it be my knot becomes too bulky. So all I'm going to do is, oh, okay, just add a way less glue than that in there so it will stay. I don't know, I have new a new bottle of art glitter glue and maybe I just need to shake it a little bit so it's not so runny. But anyway, just put a little bit of glue in there to keep your... Um, Sorry, silk there, and I think this one I'm going to fold twice to give me a different size again. And just pat it down with the 
bone folder and maybe I should have done fabric deck. Okay, that one can dry. And then this one we're going to I have seen some of these that was absolutely beautifully decorated with wax seals and dangles and you know you can go to town decorating these to make them extra special and you know I might I'm gonna put two in there because it is not absolutely not in the middle so we'll just adjust and shall we add sorry silk to this one too um, anyway you can go to town with decorating these and make them extra special at the moment I just want to get ephemera made and I can always add to decorations later on once I have a specific journal that I want to add it to maybe this one's a little short for a bow but it seems like it will still work look at that isn't that just absolutely adorable and because this paper is so pretty I am only going to fold it over once yeah I, it's a very gloomy very dark cold day for us today we've had the strangest weather honestly okay so let's try some these are tall and skinny let's try these shorter ones that's kind of like half of a copy paper and for this one I'm thinking I have some onion skin dyed papers and um, this is onion skin and some avocado dye so let's just maybe put this in here again like a little booklet instead of a document holder Just have to tail this one down a little bit um, This one, oh, let's do the doily, it's so pretty. We can just do, oops, for the front, just add it in there because it's pretty. And this paper, and they don't all, well, I could. I would say they shouldn't all look the ex be the exact same size and width. Maybe this one I'll make a little, take a little bit off so it's not the same width to make it a little more interesting. And then you can do that. Maybe this one. We'll just tear on the bottom. Okay. And of course you can coffee dye or print on the back if you are planning to use this as a booklet and you want all of it to look pretty or you don't have to, it's not necessary. And let's, I have this red 
and like a craft color twine. I bought it at Winners over Christmas time. And I just love it. It's it's like baker's twine, but not white and red. It's like a craft and red. And let's just make a little bow there as well. And then these I'm going to fold over. and then over again. Let's go on to the next one. Another small more fatter one. Um, just trying to find some documents. I don't have really old ones here that I'm ready to part with yet, so <laughs> you know how it goes. Let's add this in here because it's nice and yellow and old and you can definitely write on that. Also got this check and maybe let's add this one on here again. And maybe for this one, let's do just one again. And thinking a nice sorry silk. And let's separate the sorry silk, cause not separate them half it because it is very thick. It's just a wider. Sorry, silk. Okay. Okay. And I'm thinking a cute little bow here would be nice. Rachel did most of ours again with twine. And this one, I am going to fold up twice. Just give me this really cute skinny and little fold up. I think that would look really cute on the edge of a bay just paper clipped in, maybe paper clipped in this way so the bow is showing off the side of the page. And what else do we have here that we folded up? Is that it? Hmm. Shall we make one more? Oh, there's more of those flat ones. These, what do I have for paper pattern? Let's do this one and then call it a day. Sorry if you can hear funny noises, but my cat decided to join me and she is just having a blast. Putting her nose under papers and inside boxes and all kinds of stuff. So these are all papers that like you can see tore in the dyeing process so they're not they're good for backing tags and things like that but not as full pages. So let's use some of them. Oops, okay, this one is gonna, that's what's gonna happen with this one. Let's see what else I have here. I need something a little wider again, and I 
do like this one. Maybe we get rid of the that bit on that side. do it this way okay and shall we add I have this piece of ledger sitting here let's just add that to it okay and let's do one little hole Twine. I think I lost the alignment. Yes, so I'm not going to decorate any of these today. I'm going to just leave them as is and maybe decorate them once I get use them in a journal and decide what I'm going to do with them you know where are they going to go in and I'm thinking let's see how much of the rows I'll lose let's just fold this one just once and of course you can always just clip them in this way too if the I'm just going to put a teeny tiny bit of glue in here let me just see I forgot to put the pin on my glue um, just to keep it there because a lot of times that kind of knot just comes undone Okay, so let's see what we did today. I know it is not very exciting today, but it's just a variation on what we did in week six. Um, so week six, let me just show you, was the bigger ones where we kind of just did one big page and folded it different ways. And then today the variation is smaller and tall and skinny so let's just just depending on how you fold it what kind of ribbon you add in like this I can decorate and make it way more interesting maybe even add a dangle there you know add photos or botanicals so many things that you can add but I'm not going to decorate them today anyway there's one this one, um, this one, like really, I like this a lot. I think this would be a nice useful one just because it would fit in any size journal. This one will be cute too with a little bee in the rose there and just a music one. And then this one with the ribbon so thank you for watching and i hope you'll go and try to make these they are a lot of fun uh, i'll link the my other um video as well as rachel's videos and i'll see if i can just link a couple other people who's taking part in roxy's journal of creation um, creations in the description box or roxy's weekly challenge <laughs> And this was week seven. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And leave me a message. Tell me if you would make this, if you enjoyed watching this video. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.